delay. Um, the uh, lecture that Tadashi Kawamata is about to give is the third in the series of uh, Maeda Visiting Artists Program. Uh, we have been very fortunate uh, during the last three years to have had the support of the Maeda Corporation. Uh, we uh, went to see them some years ago and asked them whether they would uh, sponsor a program of uh, visiting artists at the AA, uh, basically because the structure of the, the unit system and, and the way that the, the other courses at the school work felt that it would be uh, very interesting to find a situation where we could have artists come to London, work with the students outside of the context of their own studios, their regular studios, in a sense, and to try and, at times, create uh, new possibilities and new kinds of tension between the work of the studio and the work that they would do with the, with the visiting artists. In the first year, we had uh, Richard Wilson, um, and in the second year, Krzysztof Bodishko, and uh, this year, we've been very fortunate to have had uh, uh, Tadashi Kawamata. For the last uh, seven months, Tadashi has been working uh, with a group of students uh, here uh, in London um, and also in Tokyo. The program uh, uh, involved uh, students uh, trying uh, to uh, inhabit certain uh, spaces, leftover spaces, uh, unusual spaces in the city, and to really discover what constitutes uh, uh, conditions of habitation. Um, and I think much of the work involves the relationship between occupying space and the physical uh, material that constitutes the, the, the space of inhabitation as well. I'm sure Tadashi will, will talk about that. Later on, uh, our students went to Tokyo and the, and the same program um, um, happened in Tokyo. Uh, it's, uh, it also then involved an additional group of students, uh, students of Tadashi uh, from, from the school where he teaches the fine arts school uh, in Tokyo. And some of them have now come back to London. Um, and what is going to happen is that uh, from uh, 10 o'clock tomorrow, uh, the students in a sense will be reenacting yet again uh, the concept of, uh, of lodging, uh, occupying a variety of 18 different sites. Um, and you can find uh, maps that, uh, in a sense, describe the location uh, or different locations that the students will be occupying uh, between, uh, between 10 a.m. tomorrow and sundown, I suppose, Sunday night. Um, there's also further information on our uh, website, which is the AA that's www.aaschool.acuk slash forward slash lodgings. There's information about, about all of this stuff in the gallery. Um, and I would uh, ask you to have a uh, uh, look at this. And if you, uh, if you have the time, I think that uh, definitely the students would appreciate you visiting them uh, at their various uh, locations. Uh, it, it's quite possible that uh, when you visit, they might not be there. Uh, but I'm sure we can come up with a prize for the person who has visited the, 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 uh, the greatest number of uh, sites. And even if they're not there, there'll be certain markers of their uh, presence. The work that Tadashi has done has also been documented in uh, uh, an insert of AA files, which is available um, after the lecture uh, outside. So I'm doing the whole estate agent kind of sales thing. Uh, which is this, and in fact, the next issue of AA Files number 43 uh, is totally devoted to uh, the Maeda Visiting Artist Program, so it has the work that uh, has been done with Richard Wilson, with Krzysztof Budishko, and then with, uh, with Tadashi. Um, uh, I think, uh, just lastly, I should say how grateful I am that, uh, that Tadashi has uh, worked so uh, tirelessly uh, with uh, a student, especially uh, also the students of uh, Shina Gashira, who has been such an important part of this program, and of course the whole AA exhibition. <coughs> uh, Tadashi is, uh, is an exceptional artist who's uh, always worked in the space between site-specific projects and, uh, and uh, really reflecting on the, the condition of architectural projects both working with, uh, with uh, temporary structures as well as uh, more, more semi-permanent landscapes, um, I think we've come to learn uh, a great deal about uh, the whole situation of, uh, 
of temporality versus permanent in terms of the work that he's explored. Uh, he was the youngest uh, person to uh, exhibit his work at the Venice Biennale at the tender age of 28, and since then he's gone on to exhibit his work in the States, Canada, and most European countries, and of course in Japan. Would you please welcome Tadashi Kawamata. So, uh, my name is Tadashi Kawamata, I come from Tokyo. But actually, I uh, traveling a lot uh, for other country, especially in the moment, I traveling a lot in, in Europe. Uh, yeah, it's going to be many projects going on, and uh, since uh, uh, the after the Venice Biennale, I get uh, so much uh, offer to the, some museum or some city, and uh, you know this is quite uh, becoming very much statistic work and uh, stay longer, more than one month or two months, you know, to collect them all the material and to work with uh, you know local peoples. So. Those kind of experience I really, you know, enjoyed, you know, since 20 years. So today I just bring the so much, maybe too much uh, slide. I already done. I don't know how many, but uh, it's going to be a lot. Maybe more than 100 uh, project. But uh, today only 120 slide. So you can see some of my past projects. And then later on I just explain about. Uh, this time of the project in, in AA, uh, together with uh, a student, uh, London and Tokyo, and then to back again to London, we called like a lodging, lodging project. Uh, first of all, you know, uh, thank you so much to coming to my lecture, and uh, also thank you so much for in inviting to here in the AA school and the uh, lecture hall. And, uh, actually, I already done one time the small, you know, lecture for the students. So maybe the, some students they already saw my work you know, from the slide. So it's going to be a little bit repeat, but uh, I don't think you don't mind. Right? So <laughs> uh, then uh, I just want to say, you know, I have no any other studying or any other skill about architectural, you know, stuff. Anything. I just grew up uh, at school, and especially for the oil painting. I just painting or art history, so I didn't think about uh, you know. Now I'm standing on the you know, middle of the you know architectural you know association, <laughs> you know. So this is a uh, you know even I didn't wish to to do like this. Just a coincidence. I get the more bigger and bigger project and uh, more involved for the people, also the you know somehow public space you know. At least uh, public space, we need uh, some engineer or uh, you know architecture, you know, all kind of thing. So this is becoming very much like uh, you know architecture, you know, uh, the kind of method you know, I have to do. So the in 1980, uh, I just starting to my project. I didn't say just like an installation work. So it's very much simply, you know, I just uh, hiding the uh, the easel which I get it very much easily. And uh, even I started traveling other country, and, you know, like uh, you know, this time I just pick up the, some of the students of my university, they are doing you know, to help me in my work. So those kind of like opportunity, I was there at that time. So I just started to the, you know, my work. So, and uh, all of the questions, maybe you know, we have a uh, time to the you know, end of the slide, we can discuss. So just starting to the slide, please. So it's just, uh, you know, the one of the corridor of the art school. This is uh, uh, sometimes like a, uh, inviting the student in exam province in France. So it's almost, uh, you know, nobody use the, the easel. So I just piling the easel to, to make a kind of like a you know, passage. So it's a very simple way to do Okay, go ahead. I think it's you know the I learn a lot about uh, the you know this kind of the situation. I don't really need to the, you know find out you know very special you know material and uh, certain place. I just find out which I am already there you know already working there. 
So this is uh, very much important for me. You know. It's quite ordinary, but it's something very special. You know. Okay. Go ahead. Maybe a little bit focusing. So the the in between the inside and outside, you know, it's kind of like an explode or kind of like a connection between the you know uh, the space to the space, you know. So this is a very simple idea and very much, you know, we're just fixing by some sort of like a wire or cable. So after you know the just take it down, that's all. So this is very much you know the starting point for me. Okay. So this, you know, then I started more like a personal project in a certain place. So one of my assistants, they left the house, and then I just borrowed the one month to, before someone to coming to the, you know, to renting. So one month to have a, you know, the between the the <coughs> the people to to the the people to coming in. So it's kind of like empty, you know, and uh, its apartment is very much neutral for me, you know, between that time. So one month had a period. I just collecting the material and then fixing the you know, house. But uh, of course, you know, it's not really fixed, you know, or at the cutting, you know, like a, like a gold matter club, not like that. I just uh, go through the window and go fixing, but nothing any fix on the wall or ceiling or floor, anything. Just structure to the structure, the connecting, and then to support it to each other. So it seemed like a house, you know, uh, to, together with the other structure, you know, inside and outside. So this is, uh, you know, the after a uh, couple of years, I, uh, after a couple of years, that's the, uh, the easier, you know, installation I just starting. I call it like a apartment project. Okay. So this is uh, becoming, you know, I need more people to, to help me. Okay. And also the interesting for the collecting the material too. Okay. Yeah, I, I stayed there and uh, to open the you know twenty four hours because the door in the window is completely open. So people just come in, go through and look at, and then to come you know uh, out. So this is kind of like an action. This is kind of like a even a little bit like a performance, you know, because it co completely limited time. You know, I just contract. And then after that, taken down because I have to be bring back to the you know the owner. So this is uh, the limited time, limited uh, you know, helping, you know, limited material. So this is a meaning very much site specific. You know. So I made it where I can do you know for this kind of like a situation. Okay. So then I started more and more you know uh, the project, different people, different. Uh, Organization, you know, different city, and uh, even the different material. Okay, go ahead. So sometimes the the some young artists they invite me to organize my project, to collecting the material, to organize, you know, the renting the house. So the apartment project is becoming very much popular. You know, the, I get many offer, but uh, of, of course, you know, uh, not everywhere I can do that only for I need a more specific, uh, you know, the situation. For example, like, uh, you know, the house is uh, not similar, you know, like before. Also, the, uh, the owner is um, more gentle than, you know, somebody to say, to, you know, you don't do anything like that, or, you know. It is quite uh, the difficult time, you know, uh, if I can o negotiate to the owner of the house. But uh, some, you know, people is, you know, the curious, you know. So this is one of the, you know, the apartment I get it uh, one month for free. Okay. So uh, we fix uh, about two weeks completely working, you know, all day, night, and uh, even we just stay there inside. It was summertime. It's it's okay just you know, go to stay and by sleeping bag and uh, people just come in to look at. So it's like a private house becoming very much public, you know, space. Go ahead. This is the inside, go ahead. 
it's going to be full of the you know stuff. But uh, you can look at you know uh, the closely. I didn't <coughs> touching anything for the wall or you know uh, because this this wall is this is a door for like a very Japanese style. This is paper, so I cannot touching. I cannot you know fixing up there. So only structure by structure. Okay. Okay. So this is uh, 1982 or three. You know, uh, I, I, even I, I was still you know in the student of the university, art school, and uh, this apartment project is uh, you know very much uh, successful for the kind of like uh, you know Japanese uh, contemporary art scene. Uh, because I'm totally out of the, the museum or gallery, you know, oriented. So I just organize by myself and then to do something. It's like a you know, circus, you know, to bring all the stuff, material, or sometimes to go there. <coughs> so even I don't need any skill, I don't need any, you know, kind of like a tools. I just get at the site. So it means like uh, I can travel into the outside country also. Uh, because it's a material, because it's uh, the tools. So, you know, it's quite similar. Go ahead. So this is the uh, first time I made uh, my personal project in, in Europe after the Venice. So this is uh, in Den Haag in, in Holland. Uh, somehow I met the curator. He invited me to the city uh, project. Uh, maybe five or six uh, st uh, the artists can do something around the, the cities. So I'm one of them. And uh, the material, where come from? This is just the front side of the you know, house. I just get all the scrap from this construction site. And then I just uh, fixing. Even that this house, uh, there's still people living there. Go ahead. So the left side is still people living there. So I was really thrilling how to, to communicate, how to fixing, you know, because it's quite noisy, quite uh, you know, strange, you know, for them. But uh, it was interesting, you know, they are against, they are against to taking down the building. So, you know, it, it seems like appearing the, the, the spot where they want to stay longer. So somehow, you know, a little bit like a political, you know, uh, the situation, uh, then, you know, it's kind of like a propaganda, you know, style. But uh, for me, it's personally, you know, I really, interesting to negotiate to the owner, also the touching to the, this kind of situation of the site. But anyway, uh, the, after the one month, everything taken down, including the, my work too. So this is part of the, you know, the story, which I, we already you know, think about that. Okay. Go ahead. This is the inside. Go ahead. So it's it's uh, not like uh, you know the decorative thing. It's more or less like you know the uh, the site has a kind of like you know the situation. Also, the site has the material and the history. This is very much interesting for me. You know. So this is a uh, you know, document. Uh, I just found uh, this uh, old uh, wall, concrete wall and brick wall. This is used to be the uh, church, they destroyed by the Second World War, and then after that, nobody taken down. Nobody, you know, uh, cared the the site. It's kind of like a historical, but uh, it seems like uh, you know people don't want to look at, you know, look back. So I just opened, uh, you know, the site. Then to the to, to the look found uh, all the material and uh, you know this all the material come from the, the castle, the the city, you know, uh, kind of like a junkyard. So it seems like uh, you know part of the building material to 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 build up different type of the, you know the structure in that place. So the I spent uh, two months to here to 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 work with uh, five you know, students. It seems like a uh, you know, kind of like a, you know uh, the uh, the archaeological you know the the work because uh, we don't know anything about the inside or you know even the floors and the ceilings. We're just collecting the old photograph or some you know, material which had the inside of the, you know, the cellar. So this is kind of like, you know, interesting for the 
touching for the history of the site and also the you know the history of the city what the thinking about this here you know the place so the archaeological you know the way of thinking also the kind of like a researching of the you know the city so those kind of like a work I made it you know that time okay go ahead go ahead you see that you know this is not like a spontaneous work you know I, I just made uh, a lot of drawing and then some market uh, some draw uh, the models you know looks like 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 this but uh, still you know you cannot uh, you know fix the idea because all of the you know scrap you know day by day we just get more and more so you cannot uh, calculate how much you can make it you know so the my drawing and my model is always uh, something like you know working models like a study models not like a fixing model as like a, you know, architecture so but uh, you know i really need it because uh, i cannot make a spontaneous work because for the structure they have to be holding each other they have to be strong each other so this is a, somehow we need a kind of like engineering the, you know skill so becoming i get a more professional engineer to, to support this you know, project. This is also one of the engineers, they uh, calculating everything. And because it's becoming like a public space. Okay, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. So this is uh, uh, the, the in Toronto. Could you, a little bit, yeah. So this is also the, you know, it's kind of like a, you know, similar project go on, you know, it's going to be the more grow up and grow up, the size is bigger and bigger, and the situation is more public space, and this is the most public area in the, in the Toronto. So, you know, the time to time I was realizing more or less like, you know, kind of like a scandal, you know, with the artists, you know. I did think, think about that, you know, but the people said, you know, like a terrorism, you know, you are visual terrorist. You know. So, because it's a public area, and uh, suddenly to come up, and uh, beginning of time, you know, people just think about, you know, it's a little bit like a scaffolding, and then day by day, you know, always passing by, and then something like a strange, you know, and then the later on, it's gonna be crazy, you know, thing, also very much looks like a very much danger, but in fact, it's uh, you know, we just. Uh, make it by ourselves, you know. That time we had uh, uh, the 10 of the students, we worked together without uh, any scaffolding, you know, the stuff. We just, we just climb up, you know, one by one, plank to the plank. So we know very much how strong it is. So the, you know, the, this kind of thing, but the, of course people just passing by, it's quite, uh, you know, strange and quite danger, you know. Okay, go ahead. We just kind of cover, you know, like this. So it was very much scandal, and, and then you know, people just uh, collecting the all the signature and to, to say to the city and to stop to the this project. So it was it's like a fighting, you know, very much politically, very much uh, socially the the fighting. So this kind of project is like a in between, you know, uh, private and public. Also the kind of like a visual scandal. Also the you know, kind of a creativity of the public space. So I was totally, you know, tiring about this kind of like a conversation. I had a three or four time public, uh, you know, discussion at the time. So always like, you know, big argument, big, you know, the fun of them, you know, always fighting. So, you know, I just say, okay, stop it. Then after uh, two months, I just taken down everything. But uh, you know, two months is enough for me. Okay, go ahead. So this is uh, getting you know back to to Europe. I prefer more or less like a quiet you know the place, but it's all over the city you know. I just uh, it's kind of like a netting, you know, the city of the you know uh, the place. Uh, this is uh, in Belgium, one of the very small uh, old town uh, inside of the you know the very much you know the modern town. Uh, called the uh, village. This is uh, something like a spiritual, you know, the site. 
and the building is a 13th century, it's, it's very much old. So the, about the 50 buildings surrounding there, and they had a big uh, gate. So after close the gate, nobody come in. It's only the women who was living there. So, you know, the, I heard the, the city, uh, somehow I just contacted the mayor of the city. Uh, he complained about this building, it's always far down the brick to the brick, because it's very old. So, you know, every year they had a holding structure. It's like a wood, you know, timber, just holding the structure to the wall, especially with the outside wall. So, I just get the idea, okay, maybe I can do, you know, those kind of like, you know, structure. To my, through my, you know, the work, then I get, uh, you know, free sponsor of the old the wood, then to the, supported by the city, and I just made this kind of project. So this is a very much a big contrast between the Toronto project to this one, because this is, a, after the, you know, nine o'clock, the gate is closed. It's nothing any, uh, you know, uh, visible, just the inside of the city, you know. When you're coming in, then you can look at, sorry. Toronto is just, you can pass by, you know, just suddenly you're just uh, appearing, you know, you just uh, find out. So this is kind of like, you know, my, you know, changing time for me, you know, this is 1989 to 1990, you know. So the obvious project or more, you know, becoming more anonymous projects, I really want to do like that. So the last time in the, I was the presenting the, my work in, for the, some student in, in AA, so they like more like obvious one than anonymous one. So this is I was quite understanding. But for my feeling, it's uh, you know I spent so much time to the scandalistic work. You know. So now I prefer more like a like a spiritual, also my more space. You know, uh, the the content. You know, many other you know uh, the thing. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. So this is not my work. This is just a favela in, in Sao Paulo, where I was uh, uh, participated in Sao Paulo Biennale in 1987, just after the documenter. So I was I stayed two months in Sao Paulo. I was walking along, you know, look along. I was really fascinating about the big contrast between the you know high, you know, the building to the kind of like a poor, you know, material, you know, uh, you know arrangement. But it's, it's very much, you know, energies, you know, I felt. And uh, this is my, you know, the hotel I was living there. I just watching to, to the, to the, you know, every day in this, you know, the favela. And they're just living and they're just moving also. They just construct, you know, some other place to the place. So it's like, a, you know, kind of like a amoeba, you know, kind of like a, you know, the moving, to the, you know, such a rigid, you know, the, the urban, you know, the cities. Of course, Sao Paulo is very much chaotic, but uh, somehow it's very much, you know, interesting to the, you know, to the situation. Also the way to fixing, you know, it's, it's quite uh, striking for me to, to using for the material, to, to living such a, you know, you know, situation. Of course, the, I was visiting many times in this favela, it's very much bad condition, also, the nothing any infrastructure, only the water, electricity. They steal from the you know other place, and uh, no you know water line, you know. But anyway, you know, still you know, I think it's you know everywhere in the in the world they have this kind of situation. But uh, somehow you know, kind of like uh, you know, the creativity, you know, I uh, felt like that. You know. Then you know, I just uh, try to imitate a little bit but more or less, you know, my style, you know. Go ahead. So this is in Houston. Uh, I just participated in one of the group show in, in kind of like a landscape, you know, the art project or something. Could you a little bit more focusing? And uh, just uh, near the, you know, the, the river, it's not really good condition of the place, but uh, it was really interesting for me. To just to, you know, over this side, they had uh, just uh, you know the housing turned down, many huge construction sites. It was a city, you know, planning. They just destroyed the one district, so I get uh, a lot of material. Then I just uh, build up, you know, a little bit similar style of the favela, 
but uh, totally different because uh, you know no floor, you know no wall, just uh, you know kind of suffered. You know. Okay, go ahead. Somehow, somehow I really interesting about the contrast. You know, as I told you, the, when I see in, in Sao Paulo, very much like you know high you know rates building to the you know kind of a poor material to, to the gathering. You know. So this is very much a good place to just like this. You know. Go ahead. So it looks like, but uh, it's not not really you know real you know the hut or anything. Uh, why I made like this? Because I, well, I am you know <coughs> I like very much about the structural thing, and also the it's kind of like a, you know I just put in something like a inner landscape. You know I just uh, put uh, some sort of like essence you know for the landscape, or maybe that's more disturbing to the landscape. It's similar like a favela, you know. Something like, you know, it's nothing any against, or nothing any social, you know, uh, political, you know, message at all. Just, uh, you know, kind of like, uh, you know, the disturbing or just the point is, you know. This is uh, really interesting. I'm not like, uh, you know, the activist for do something like, you know, uh, the environment or some architecture or urban, you know, the problems. Not like that. Just more or less like uh, uh, the small essence of the you know the work, or maybe it's, you know people say like a fake or you know something, but it's not really fake at all because I just uh, you know the using for this you know kind of like a situation you know of the favela. Go ahead. Go ahead. So this is another kind of a favela in the thing in, in New York. Uh, I was living in New York uh, two years uh, between 1986 and 1984, five, six. So that time uh, I was in living in PS1, I working in PS1. And then I always watching to the Roosevelt Island, just between the uh, Manhattan to the Queens. You know. So the one of the places is a very abandoned building. You know. There used to be the smallpox in the hospital. So I tried to find out uh, how can I use, you know, can we get uh, permission? Then I spent uh, five years to, to negotiate and to, to, to make, make my project. So this is uh, the 1992, I did it, you know. The, about six months I uh, borrowed the site. It was very much a difficult time for me because uh, I'm back already in Tokyo, so I, you know, every month nearly back and forth to New York to have um, you know, the meeting for the engineer, meeting for the architect, meeting for the city, you know, planner, all kind of thing. But it's it's uh, meaning of the public, you know, uh, the place. Okay, go ahead. And a lot of the you know the the permission law or you know people to access or you know visit or how to organize. Or, or how to show. You know. I'm a little bit uh, fed up about uh, the presenting the, the audience, the people. You know. So we just try to find out, okay, we have only telephone appointments. So only telephone can get it, then people can come. So it's a very much secret project. You know. People don't know so much, but uh, it was quite uh, visible you know, from the Manhattan side. So the every day, it's maximum 20 people can come because it's very dangerous, you know, the area. And, uh, but for me, it's, it's really, you know, uh, the, the satisfied about even the 20 people to come to building, go around, walking through. So we, we opened the one month, so it's uh, about, uh, you know, a couple of the hundred people. But I think it's, it's really, you know, we spent two months to construct, then one month to open, keep open, then one must to take it down. But this is kind of like a memory for me to, to, to do, you know, such an isolated place and uh, construct, then to destroy it. Go ahead. Go ahead. So it's about uh, 20, 30 people, 30 students or some uh, local, you know, young artists, they help me a lot. and. Uh, 
It's really like you know, carpenter or construction site. You know. It's very quiet and very much strange situation. You know, very close to the Manhattan, but nothing any you know connection. It's it's sort of like an isolation, you know, because it's a ho uh, uh, the smallpox you know hospital. So this kind of situation is very much similar now in the in times in New York for kind of like an AIDS or you know, another kind of a disease, you know, always isolated to the place, to the place. So, you know, many kind of like, a, you know, meaning we just put there, then to the starting to construct. Most, uh, all, of the, all the material we just uh, uh, come from the uh, skip, you know, from the Manhattan. And uh, the engineer to suggest me to the uh, first structure have to be a new one, otherwise it's gonna be, you know, the, doesn't support this for the public, you know, the access. So, you know, those kind of situation I get, you know, sing. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I like very much the, the work at the site, you know. I'm not like, a, you know, to make a drawing in, in my studio. I really like to the site and walking and the sweating and the, you know. So, yeah, it's because it's a, you know, feeling like a very much like a scale, you know. I like very much scale up and then to even though you cannot see everything, you know. You are just like the middle of the, you know, construction site. You cannot do anything. You, you just, you cannot see everything. But, but somehow, you know, like, you know, feeling like endless work, you know. You just always doing, you know. Do you know all the scrap is coming, the fixing, the next day coming scrap again to the fixing. You know. So we just said you know after two months, uh, you know, most of the student, uh, the assistant was tiring, so I just said, okay, let's stop it. Then we just stop it for the you know. Then you know next week we starting to the open for the public. So it seems like an endless work, you know. So this is, I think, is really interesting. Then after that, we just starting to destroy it, and then to the empty. So this is kind of like a cycle of the, you know, the material cycle of the time. So it's a small memory we just fix at the site. Okay, go ahead. Something like a mixture between the favela style and the, you know, construction, you know, and this, uh, the site. Okay, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. And uh, maybe I just uh, show other, you know, kind of like a structure. I just. Uh, uh, made it also that I'm interesting about uh, those kind of like a public you know uh, the situation. Uh, this is also again m not my work. This is a sidewalk you know, for the construction site, somehow somewhere in, in Europe. So uh, the you know since I work at the public space, I always interesting about uh, temporary structure at the public site, and the people can use you know, and uh, it's. At least uh, nobody complained, you know. Of course, you know, it is complained, but, uh, you know, somehow it's, it's a necessity, you know, to, to, to make it like this. So the, this kind of sidewalk, it's, it's quite uh, usual, and uh, it's quite a part of the urban, you know, landscape. So let's make like this, you know. This is very much interesting to do, not obviously, it's more anonymously, you know, to, to, to make it and then to, to take it down, you know, spontaneously. So this is, I think, I get, uh, you know, the feelings. Go ahead. So the, the structure is very simple and uh, very temporary, you know. Okay, go ahead. And this is another passage. This is I, I made, you know, this is uh, I made my, you know, other side walk. This is one of the big exhibition and the inside of the exhibition space but outside, there are so much depot, you know. So I'm really interesting about the between the exhibition space to the outside space, and then to back to the, you know, exhibition space. 
So it seems like an art world in the real world, and then to back to the you know, art world again. So I just made a sidewalk like this. Go ahead. I just covered you know, the, the thing. Go ahead. Just come out from the outside, then to go back to the inside again. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's very simple, and uh, you know, go ahead. So you know, somehow like a sidewalk or a kind of kind of passage. This is also the you know the passing by the history, passing by the you know the kind of like a, you know body, you know the feelings. Uh, this is uh, one of the small town in near uh, the Firenze called Prato. The one of the museum they invite me to do something in the city. So it's such a small town, Prato, and uh, it uh, seems like you know this kind of like a corridor. Uh, many of the you know the corridor without the car, you know. So I just built up the temporary structure. It looks like a sidewalk, but it's going to be continue. So I just connect to the nine corridor, you know, from the beginning of the city to the you know out of the city, you know. It's, it's about uh, uh, about 100 meters, you know, just connected to each other. Go ahead. So the street, just like that. You know. So this is, uh, it doesn't function, of course, you know. This is, you know, people cannot walk on top anyway. But uh, somehow, like a, you know, sign, you know, connecting. It's like, a, as I told you, the net to the city. Go ahead. Or like a, just like a snake, you know, go around the city, you know, crossing the city. Especially for the light and shadow, it's quite interesting for the Italian, you know, the, the play, you know, the city. This is also the, you know, uh, the somehow it's quite uh, uh, contradictive about the people and uh, to the, you know, the residents and the museums. So this is also the. The, uh, the we just stop the project after you know one month. Okay, go ahead. It's very clean and very much uh, the 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 simple work in the one of the museum in, in Japan. I just made the kind of like you know the walkway. Go ahead. This is another one is in in the mountain. I just made also the. I was in living in the artist residence in France, South France, so I just made like this. Go ahead. This is uh, the the storage room somewhere. I just made a kind of arrangement of the you know the sidewalk too. Go ahead. Uh, this is kind of like sidewalk again, <laughs> and uh, this is uh, the uh, Barcelona. The one of the uh, the most biggest and contemporary museum to open, uh, built up by the Richard Meyer, and uh, I was really fascinating about uh, not inside, in, more or less in the outside, also the not in the building, more or less like uh, you know the outside of the you know area of this uh, district, and uh, you see the this wall, uh, I don't know how to use. This wall, this is just cover for this, you know, uh, the apartment. They just completely destroyed when they built up the building. So they just cover over there. So I really want to go up to the, you know, people just go up to look at what's, what's going on, you know, in this place. Because this is, uh, you know, very much, uh, as you know, the Richard Meyer's building is always square and a very white cube and uh, it's very much neutral, you know. And uh, I just, uh, you know, this is a fire exit, so people just get out from the fire exit to walk through to look at you know, the side, and then maybe look back to the, the museum again to go inside. So it's kind of like a bridge, you know. I just made it. So those kind of like you know sidewalk or passage or a you know, bridge are really interesting. Go ahead. And uh, the, this area is very much you know poor, you know the building around there. But it seems like a very colorful. Also, the the balcony is very much interesting for me. People have to communicate. 
So this is also the part of balcony for me, you know, between the museum to the you know, local you know, peoples. Go ahead. Uh, first idea, I tried to connect to the, you know, this one of the rooms, but it's, it's, it's impossible. But then I just made it. <laughs> Go ahead. But it, it, it can you? What is I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we we just secretly made it. <laughs> because, you know, it seems interesting that, you know, when they come out from the museum to go in the, you know, real life, you know, the living room, you know, suddenly come out. Uh, I tried to negotiate this, these rooms, but the owner said, not. <laughs> okay, go ahead. So this is another walkway, also the, you know, just uh, people just w walking. But uh, this some of the project is very much special uh, for me. Uh, the worker has just come from the addicted, uh, the, the, the client, called like uh, you know, alcoholic or drugaholic, you know, uh, the people. Uh, because uh, the, it is very strange offer, you know, one of the director of the hospital, they uh, art lover, you know, somehow. And uh, they saw my work, you know, and they invited me to do something, the project, just around the you know, hospital. Yeah, maybe it, this is part of the you know, like a public, public building to build up. You have to be you know, using for the artworks, you know, like a 1% of a building. So this kind of like a you know, budget I get. But uh, I'm, I'm not interested about uh, you know, just like I build up some structure or anything. I prefer work with uh, this client, you know, peop, uh, you know people stay in the hospital. So the, about uh, every day, I get a 10 of the you know, client, you know, uh, drug addict or you know, alcoholic, you know, the people. You know. Uh, of course, you know, they have kind of like degree, you know. Uh, one or two, uh, they have to be staying in the hospital you know, all day night. But after, you know, more or less, you know, they need more exercise, you know, to sweating, you know, to, to get out from the more you know, bad thing. So they really like the working, you know, in the outside. So I just said, you know, the hospital is uh, very much far away from the city. So you just make a, yourself, you just make a walkway to back to the society, back to the city. So just I just made a kind of like instruction about uh, you know, two meter wide or you know, uh, twenty centimeter thickness wood. You can make it yourself, you know. So all of this, you know, only I made a paper and the instruction. Of course, you know, every year I just, you know, stay one month in the hospital and without alcohol, without drug, and then to the working together with them. So the first year we just made a hundred, uh, you know, the meter of the walkway. Okay, go ahead. Just like this, you know, every day, you know, of course, you know, except the winter season. But uh, this is kind of like exercise. This is kind of like a, ther yeah, it's kind of like a therapy, but, uh, you know, they just, made by themselves. All the scrap material, you know, some, you know, piece, we can bought this. And, uh, yeah, it's just continue and continue. And then we just continue the three years. So it's already the three kilometer, uh, three kilometer long walkway with they made it. Go ahead, just look at. You know, this is kind of a quite muddy place, you know. Just people just walking through. Go ahead. And uh, to sometimes to make a bridge, sometimes to make, you know, just like a direction, we just say, okay, go ahead, and then go straight, go back, you know. So just simple, you know, walking. But uh, of course, you know, people are not really good, you know, skill anyway. Sometimes destroy, sometimes, you know, fall down, you know. So, but, uh, you know, it was quite successful for the, this uh, kind of therapy, you know, work, because they really enjoy, you know, but people don't have, uh, you know, satisfied, you know, everyday life because they are completely destroyed their lifestyle, you know. So they don't want to, they don't know how to made it, made it, and then to the next one, to the next one, you know. You can, when you look, up, look back to the, you know, the walkway, you already made it, already 10 meter or 20 meter. So this is kind of like, you know, satisfaction for them. So, and then to the repeat and repeat, you know. So after the three months, it's going to be quite long, you know, the walkway, they made it. 
Go ahead. Go ahead. So first time, you know, they don't want to show up to the photograph. Of course, you know, they uh, don't, you know. But uh, becoming very much like a proud about, you know, I'm working here, you know, I'm just make by myself, you know, walk by walk, you know. So go ahead. Sometimes the, the, some student to help him. Uh, this is a small, you know, the transport you bought, we just made it because it's so you know, far away. Even the transport is very much hard. Go ahead. So the, you know, the skill is, uh, is quite poor, you know, but uh, it's a very simple way to walk. At least people can walk, you know. I think this is very much you know, enough for them. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I think there still exists in the moment. Uh, some uh, walkway is already destroyed because the city, they sold the uh, one in the ground. So we have to be changing. So we just, uh, the, the client, they just take it away, one you know, part of the walkway. Then they just fixing now. So it's kind of like an endless work again, you know. Uh, we just made it, the systems, but uh, you know, it's always, you know, three years, the first part is already gone, and then the, we have to be changing place. You know, some, some place is a fixing, some place is a destroy, you know, they also maintenance. So this is in still, you know, working now. Okay, go ahead. So this is, uh, this is not like an endless of the you know, walkway place, but uh, somehow, you know, the, the walkway is already, you know, stop it because uh, it's already the, you know, uh, the city, you know, the properties uh, end. Then uh, we are just thinking, oh, so how we continue? Then uh, I just get the idea, okay, let's make a boat. So the boat is like, uh, looks like a walkway, and the boat can move into the canal. So we're just starting to the make, the make a boat. Then that time I get the offer from the, the Munster uh, Sculpture Project, one of the big uh, international you know, the sculpture uh, uh, the, uh, the exhibition in, in Munster in Germany. So then I just said, OK, uh, all of the client just come to go to the Munster to build up the, some kind of jetty for the, for the boat. Even the boat we also to bring to there in uh, one of the lake. So we're just camping the, all together, all of the client. Of course, you know, we are two or three therapists together because 24 hours we have to be controlling for them. Otherwise, they just go out to the city to drink a beer or, you know, to get some drug, you know. It's very wild. But uh, we are just camping, you know, the, the site. And uh, now they are built up the, some kind of like a platform for to stop the you know, boat. So we just made a two platform between the other side of the lake to the, you know, this side. So boat can, you know, to transport the people. Go ahead. Yeah, this kind of boat. You see that this is quite the same shape as uh, we made at the uh, walkway in, in the side. So, you know, it's kind of like a happening, and also the op operating to the another chance, you know. So I really like it, this kind of like way to, to think about, you know. We don't think about, you know, after the, you know, the walkway, what we're going to do. Just, you know, we had the, the situation, we have to stop the walkway. Then we just get the idea, this, you know, kind of the, to build up the board. Then we get another you know, offer to from the you know the other countries. So this is kind of like you know the the rolling other you know situation. And uh, at least uh, now it's still this boat can using for the you know this uh, you know clinic, uh, the hospital. They using for the 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 client can go there to go other place to the by the through the canal. Okay, go ahead. So it's, it's kind of like a project to make another project, another, you know, continuing the project. Uh, this is quite interesting for me in a moment. Go ahead. Even across the country, you know, even the connecting to the other situation. 
Is this same same as like you know Tokyo and London or you know other you know specific place to the you know other place, but it's same kind of like a situation, same kind of like a, you know idea. Go ahead. Uh, this is a other project. It's a still like a you know sticking to the idea about sidewalk. You know. uh, whole this uh, area, uh, they're going to be renovate uh, the square you know park. So it's going to be the you know starting to the mess or the construction, and then you know that ta same time you know the city to invite me to do something the art project together with the you know, construction you know the work. So I just uh, you know made it uh, the idea for the sidewalk. So this is uh, to make a sidewalk like this. Of course, they need uh, some exit you know, entrance or you know so, sort of like you know you know the place. But uh, the truck has to be go under the, you know, the sidewalk, so it's becoming like a bridge. I, I made it. Go ahead. Just like this. This is come from the engineer in the drawing. They just make a very much, you know, kind of like old-fashioned structure. So, but uh, you know, somehow it's okay. You know. Go ahead. I'm interesting about uh, the just public space. You know. To build up such a, you know, the non-functional or functional, you know, the structure, and temporarily. Go ahead. Go ahead. So it's like a, you know, the we stay two months to here in this, just a small town in near the uh, Vienna, called the uh, Vienna Neustadt. And, uh, yeah, every day we just discuss. You know, the, we just hiring the twenty uh, the local artists and the students, and uh, every time we just working together and uh, discussing. And uh, the problem is uh, the city to pay all of this material, all this project. So people always complain about the budget. You know, why you spend so much money for nothing? You know? Just like this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Maybe just changing the slide. So it's it's kind of like a contradiction, you know. Of course, you know the budget is always you know quite easy to complain, because the art project it uh, doesn't function so much. But uh, you know it's more you know spiritually or more like a you know more other you know function we 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 have of course you know. This is just under the bridge. They're just still, you know, doing something like that. Go ahead. So it was very much, you know, the the fighting, you know, uh, about uh, the project to to be realized or stop it or you know, big argument each other, and uh, we are so much discussing, you know. So the such a small town, the full of the, you know, the the media you know to shooting for this uh, bleach you know project but after the opening you know it was starting to quiet because it's going to be another kind of like experience you know people just uh, come up to the 5 meter height and the people never see you know this kind of the situation to see the whole the city so the after the opening you know it's getting more quiet and then it's getting more like ordinary you know People just to, to enjoy the to walking through, you know, because this is 24 hours open, even the night time. People just come. I was really curious, you know, as soon as somebody to to graffiti, you know, because it's quite easy, you know, like this. But nothing any graffiti, nothing any you know vandalism. So this is quite a good reaction for me. Okay, go ahead. This is still construction, but uh, you can see the very much you know round one. Because uh, this is also depend on the the, the ground levels, uh, they start into construction about uh, you know gas line or water line. They have to be digging the the ground, but uh, we don't know so much about. It. We we always get information just uh, before one week or something. We cannot changing the place. No, that's always you know just changing the you know, direction, even the up and down. You know. So because the structure is always the same. But the ground level is a different. So, you know, we're just doing, you know, even the different height, different, uh, you know, direction. 
So we just uh, fix them together each by each. So it's it's kind of like a snake, you know, so walking, or maybe I don't know, maybe uh, Chinese like a great wall you know, style. Uh, very much amateuristic, you know, the construction, but it's uh, strong enough for the safety. Go ahead. So I had a very much a good experience of this kind of like construction work together with many you know, students working, even the very much you know, uh, the little bit danger in the construction work. But uh, we spent uh, one month to, to do, you know, and including the, you know, such a scandalistic or some kind of like, you know, big argument with the society. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, something like that, like just like this. Go ahead. So this is uh, just recent uh, work. You know, this again to the another kind of a, like a walkway. You know, goes through the city. This is about 400 meter. We just made it uh, because this is one of the uh, the city was uh, to, to destroyed by the Second World War. You know, this is a uh, the the Normandy, that's the time of the Normandy battle was uh, that there. So the existing the three or four building, it's very much all the historical you know monument. So I just connect to the you know four building together by this kind of structure, to using for the metal structure and the wooden structure. So this is also the again to the public space and uh, to working you know like this. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. So this time I, I work with uh, you know professional carpenter or you know the the construction worker together with the student also. So it's very much professional, also very much you know amateuristic work. Go ahead. Go ahead. And the, the wood is very much new. Uh, we bought it, and then after that, we just always using for the recycling for the, you know, like a garden hut. We just always made it. Even I just make a drawing of the, uh, the, the garden hut. So all of the 400 meter, you know, sidewalk we when we built up, and then after that, about the 32 uh, small, you know, uh, garden hut we can provide to the peoples. Those kind of like uh, you know, to the you know. The sharing the the budget, we made it. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So working at the public space, we always get some more information. We get more like a, you know, talking together with people. This is part of the my my project also. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So finally, just made right that. Go ahead. Go ahead. So that building also is quite historical. So we just connect together. Go ahead. Go ahead. So people just only walk and to look at, and uh, that's all. But uh, you know, this is a kind of like experience, also the kind of like a remembering the history. This is, I think, I present by this kind of structure. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, you know, this is uh, more or less like a construction, the work. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. The, the project is always spent, uh, you know, two or three years, you know. The, the first meeting and the to negotiation and to propose to get a, to find out the idea, proposal, and the city agreement 
and then to the start into the actual construction work. So it always takes a time. But uh, I really like this kind of process, you know, because it's very much public, you know. Yeah, of course, in during the time we had uh, so much, you know, the talking and the discussion. Go ahead. So this is no discussion. This is no argument. This is just uh, my private, you know, the work. Uh, it seems like uh, in a cold uh, field work, like uh, you know, the I just walking through the city and to pick up some, you know, stuff to piling, and fixing, you know, spontaneously. But so it's like a sketch, you know, field sketch. Uh, the time of the New York, I was living there, uh, to to talking about. Uh, the Roosevelt project, such a big project, always organize the people and the uh, discussion about the budget and uh, you know negotiation. It was really hectic, and also the tiring. So sometimes I just get out by myself to walk in the city street, and it looks like a you know, homeless shelter. You know. So I just starting to to make it. So nearly every time when I beating somewhere, I always make uh, uh, like this. Even the you know before I didn't take any photograph, just made it and then you know uh, throw away. So some of the photo I just made it. I can show now. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is just uh, starting to work. You know. Go ahead. So I prefer you know people don't. Uh, uh, recognize. Uh, I prefer, you know, just like uh, ordinary, you know, the the, the landscape, you know. or it's already exists since long time, you know, like this. Okay, go ahead. This one. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, this one. Right. Go ahead. Uh, this one. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> it's just like a five minutes or ten minutes or sometimes like just, you know, fixing and then, you know, wind is coming far down. You know, very much, you know, just nothing. But uh, I think, it's, you know, somehow it's quite interesting. Go ahead. It's kind of like the essence, I just, you know, the feeling. You know, the same time, such a huge, like, uh, you know, working with many people and uh, big projects, you know, construction, the same time, I just make like this. It's very much healthy, you know. Go ahead. So this is quite difficult to find out. This one. <laughs> this, this is uh, exists already. <laughs> This one, you know, surrounding the the post. Go ahead. Yeah, this this this, this part of this one. I get the two time get the police to 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 get some charge or something. Go ahead. Because this is completely illegal. But uh, this is the time of the New York. Uh, I was uh, made it at the East Village. You know, that time they had many of homeless, you know, shelter around there. So I just, you know, collecting the, some scrap, I just standing over there. This is nearly the first photo or something. Go ahead. This is a homeless, you know, a shelter, real one. And I just uh, asking to, to, to them, you know, can I make it something? And then he teach me how to make it. <laughs> Go ahead. And this is a huge uh, homeless, you know, the area. So I couldn't get in. You know, they had a very much, you know, argument. And I just met here, just to uh, go here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, of course, you know, sometimes somebody using for my, sh you know, the the shelter. I think this is also quite ordinary, quite normal, and. Uh, Go ahead. So then I just collected the, some photograph, and the one time I just made a newspaper, just like this. Go ahead. 
at, uh, in, in New York. You, saw, you know the New York Times, they always, uh, you know, they're working at the Saturday night for the Sunday issue. They're always working on the street. They're putting some more, like, uh, many, you know, the, uh, the photograph or some other, you know, sleeping in. So I just give to the, some money for the, the, the people. Just put in, in my newspaper from, from this, you know, uh, the field work, you know, the sketches. Just like this. Go ahead. Yeah, this kind of newspaper, I made it about a about thousand or something. And then the, suddenly just the uh, New York Times, you know, Sunday issue, they just open it, you know, out of the Macy's or like, you know, uh, the many, like, a, you know, the commercial thing. And then suddenly just the field work, you know, like a homeless, you know, newspaper is coming up. So this is very much like a guerrilla, you know, work. Also, the, the same time, I just uh, order to the, some of my friend to give to the quarter to go around the Manhattan area. You know the vending machine? When you put in a quarter, you just open it, and you can get it. But you don't need to get it. You just put in all this you know, newspaper. So the, about 200 vending machine, we just slip in this newspaper for guerrilla tick. So this is kind of like a part of my you know, activities, you know, for this kind of like uh, the work. So yeah, this is this is using for the normal system of the you know ordinary life. So I was really interested like this. Go ahead. Yeah, somehow somewhere, just made it like this. Go ahead. This is a bit new, I think. Uh, I don't know, something in Germany, maybe in Hanover or something. Go ahead. So this is not, uh, you know, like a cardboard style, but uh, this is a uh, prefabricated uh, material. We, we call it like a garden shed in, in Japan. You know. uh, we get, I get sponsor, you know, uh, at the time of the museum exhibition, I get a hundred of this, uh, you know, the prefabricated to the garden shed in that time. So I just uh, fit, put the uh, hundred all around the city. It looks anonymously, you know, like this. But uh, then this one also. Then other place, other place. So it's not like a cardboard at all, but it's same feeling like, like a favela style. Uh, no, no, not favela, uh, fieldwork style. Go ahead. Because it's quite, uh, you know, uh, the neutral, and uh, it's kind of like a chameleon. You know, you cannot s to see, you know, how, you know, uh, the appearing the thing. A little interesting about this kind of like disappearing, you know, the structure. But one time you look at, you know, the structure is a little bit different because I didn't uh, uh, ordinarily fixing, you know. The wall is, uh, you know, less of the, the perfectly, uh, the roof is a little bit empty, you know. Those kind of like a structure, you know, I just pray, you know. I build up the two uh, garden shed material to build up the three, or one, or one missing, you know, something like that. Just go ahead. Go ahead. It's getting more and more building. Go ahead. So this is going to be the, you know, just parts, you know, fixing surrounding there. Go ahead. So this is uh, it's more or less anonymous. This is, uh, I, I made it illegally. Go ahead. Just like this. But it's fit, you know. I think that this is, uh, it's completely fit for this, uh, you know, Ordinary, you know, the, the situation. Go ahead. Oh, this is a other project. Just I can, yeah. This is called like a Tokyo project, which I uh, inspiring about, uh, you, know, you know, kind of like a shelter from the field work. Also, the kind of like you know situation in Tokyo now. What's the going on? So, uh, and also. From from this, uh, we just uh, explain about uh, uh, this time a lodging project too. It's somehow very much related. 
uh, it's, uh, you see the, I never you know, made the, the completely like a house for people to living there. I always make a kind of like a gesture, you know, or kind of like action, you know, of the housing or you know, the dwellings. So, but uh, this time I really want to make a, a place to people can stay. Uh, you know, most of the homeless people they don't use the electricity. I'm always uh, curious why they didn't steal the home, you know the electricity or water system. So. It's quite easy to use for the electricity from this vending machine. Because in Tokyo, they had uh, so many vending machines. You know, every maybe 50 meter, they had a vending machine. So I found uh, about a fifth, five vending machines standing there. And uh, this is uh, the gasoline, you know, gas station. But it was destroyed, uh, the empty, you know, out of the work. So I just get uh, you know information of this vending machine company to say to using for this space even I just cleaned up you know in this area they said okay you can you know but you have to pay for the electricity so I said okay you know because this is a the local you know f you know uh, the electricity not nothing any you know business you know the electricity it's about a hundred voltage as same as uh, you know normal you know housing you know the, the Voltage. Okay, go ahead. <coughs> yeah, the situation is very much interesting. It's like uh, you know, the V you know area, and there's so much car with traffic. <coughs> go ahead. So I just covered uh, as much as you know transparency and uh, very light material, including the door and uh, everything, without uh, the window because you don't need the window. And uh, it seems like uh, you know the bending machine was uh, you know holding the structure. Go ahead. So the I just uh, offer to the some of the student can stay a week. So how the you know uh, feeling is and also what happened you know. So it was a challenge for me because I never order to the somebody to living there or stay there. So we just. Uh, Hiring the some water, you know, stuff, or like uh, you know, kind of like uh, you know, the heating stuff because it, that was uh, generally in the two three years ago, in generally very cold. And uh, yeah, go ahead. He was living there a week, and uh, he just uh, mapping the all the place where he walking through in this area. Also, he just uh, kind of like a memo. Every day, what uh, you know happen? You know, people to how many coffee can is selling there because he just l listening for the you know. So <laughs> I was really interesting about you know this kind of house you know because uh, it, this is kind of like a, you know the make money you know. Uh, I just hired in the five vending machine. If I can pay for renting and uh, organize this vending machine. You know how much I can get this? It's going to be the uh, about uh, 1,500 US dollars a month. So this is very much not so bad, you know, to stay there to get the uh, 1,500 dollars. You know, so you know, much better than homeless people, you know, just to without any light. Or this is very much, you know, the idea for even the some sort of like an economic, you know. I just uh, researching for the all the Tokyo area and uh, all the the price of the uh, uh, price of the ground and uh, how much vending machine to using uh, a month. So all the average we just calculating then uh, come out from the 1,500 US dollars to get it for from this such a small area, small place. So you know. So those kind of situation are really interesting to researching also that to to you know to make like this. Go ahead. So nighttime just like this, you know. So people don't see so much. Of course, when people to look at, you know, somehow strange, but uh, it seems quite ordinary. And uh, he was really experienced. You know, first day he was really afraid about somebody to kick off or you know. Broken, you know, break the wall, but nothing happened. Only just uh, you know, 
to buy the you know the coffee stuff. You know. And then he just becoming very much interesting. He just want to pushing something to the you know ordinary people who want to buy the you know coffee. So when pushing the coin, and then he just suddenly come out from the you know the the house. So they are really surprising, and uh, you know those kind of situation. Also, the you know uh, every day in the morning when he wake up, his nose is completely black because there's so much dust from the you know the car. So of course it's not really good for health, but uh, it was really you know experience. You know we're just collecting the, all this thing. So only we keep the one week like this, and then after we just take him down because for the permission and because for the you know the situation. I don't know if I can stay. I can keep the one month, one year. What's gonna happen? So maybe this is another issue you know, for me. Okay, go ahead. So this is other you know housing project. This is a billboard, a huge billboard. But you can see the you know again we can get the electricity. You know, so we just order you know, and then also the same thing. I just uh, calculating the you know this construction or. If I can uh, rent this space and uh, this, you know, this space and this billboard, you know, we can offer the billboard to someone to use it for this, you know, one. Then how much I, we can get this, you know? So it's going to be quite big. The money I can get is a month because, you know, this billboard is quite expensive. Even I can pay for the electricity, but still can possible to stay here. Okay, go ahead. So this is all the you know to the stuff to to make it. So this is same material we just you know offer. Also the same shape as the structure. Go ahead. The light is goes through. It's quite uh, you know okay. Go ahead. Just like this, I just made it. And uh, yeah, when we come down by the stair. And then to the police was there, so uh, it was a little bit uh, strange thing to happen. But the uh, police said to, to me, you know, just uh, if the, some of the neighborhood complained to them, this one, then I can catch you. But uh, nobody complained, I cannot catch you. <laughs> so this is very much good system. You know. <laughs> so just I was stay there, you know. Actually, I offer to the, you know, somebody stay, but I stay also here. Go ahead. So every morning there are so many people just you know walking through, and very much noisy. But it's kind of like a floating. You know. Go ahead. So it's so much busy and uh, traffic jam. But it's such a you know the kind of like uh, you know uh, the subtle you know the construction very much you know fragile. But it's, it's enough strong, I think, and uh, enough to stay, you know, there. So this is I just made uh, two or three years ago in, in Tokyo. It was the first time for me to someone to stay, you know, actually to stay to the house or house. Or I don't know. I can say the I, I said the houseless house, kind of like you know, not like a homeless, just houseless. So this is kind of like a, you know the inspiring about uh, lodging you know Tokyo London for this time. Go ahead. Oh, I forgot. This is another one. Uh, from this side, you cannot see anything because this is a quite ordinary wall for the construction. But in between, I you know I I just made the two wall uh, inside have a triangular space. So this is door. When you open it. Somebody living there, but uh, I have no uh, photograph in the moment here, so you cannot see. But uh, someone there to stay one week, also. So those three, you know, the the house I just made that time. Okay, go ahead. So this is such a beautiful photo. This is uh, the marsh in the one of the 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 AS student who made it. Uh, but the situation is very interesting. Uh, first of all, I just uh, uh, tell you about the idea about lodging. 
and uh, I was really interesting about this uh, housing project in Tokyo. You know, I really want to continue, but uh, I don't want to continue by myself. You know, I really want to to work with uh, other people, other situation, maybe you know uh, the, some other student in in the outside country. Then. It was coincident I get I can get the uh, offer from the A school for the you know the Maeda you know foundation to, to make some you know uh, art project. Then uh, the uh, Mr. Shin Egashira he asked me to do something together with the students. So I'm really glad to, to work with them, you know, because that time I really want to do something like that. Or maybe more explored, you know. So then you know the idea to come out from the London, you know try to be lodging, you know, somehow. But I don't want to push to the student, you know, the idea about uh, shelter or anything. Just the uh, student can make own, you know, idea and own situation, you know, even own location too. So this is one of the, you know, students they made the uh, middle of the, you know, the mud, muddy place. But the uh, interesting point is, uh, you know, summertime is completely dry and the, the winter season is a bit, you know, wet. So those kind of like, you know, up and down, you know, situation is changing and uh, all the material, you know, pick up from local, you know, area and uh, to made a kind of like a wall out of the mud and uh, some leaves. So this is a completely different uh, type of the work for me, you know, but uh, somehow quite interesting, you know, the, the idea. Okay, go ahead. This is also the you know the work of the student. This is just uh, you know the this is a just under the you know a place. So the just under the stair they have the certain space you know so it's kind of a gap you know they want to you know the kind of like uh, you know uh, the how they call the they all were talking about you know kind of like uh, you know amalgam. To put in the uh, teeth you know, to get the, uh, the shape of the you know, teeth, you know. So those kind of like, you know, st you know, the idea, they just fixing, you know, tracing, then to come up to the you know, volume. So this is also quite interesting. And even though they uh, stay there, you know, uh, the one night. So I think this is also another idea of the, the lodging, also the, you know, kind of like a shelter, you know, the style. Go ahead. Of course, you know, you can see all of the video, you know, and uh, some photo in this uh, container. They had uh, many of the information. Even the, you can see the real one, the real side of the, you know, uh, the, this, you know, uh, the shelter in the gallery. But uh, this was uh, last uh, November. We just starting them. Go ahead. It was sometimes it's rainy, sometimes very freezing, you know, very much, you know, uh, hard work. But the uh, student was really, you know, uh, work a lot. And then uh, the two weeks I was there, uh, I think so, yeah. Then uh, the one day we just break, you know, because it's too much concentrated for the, this kind of lodging work. We just said, uh, okay, let's go somewhere to make a field work. So then the student come to the, near the Liverpool station we just walk around the marketplace. So it was so busy, just after the, you know, the market, they are busy to, you know, collecting the, all the stuff. So that time, the student can do by themselves, you know, very much spontaneously. So this is one of the, the work, you know, for the students. Go ahead. This is also the, you know, kind of like, you know, the work. Go ahead. We always uh, to make it, and then have to be, you know, stay there, you know, just to, you know, how they feel, you know. This is very much interesting. Go ahead. And uh, it is very much interesting, you know, people don't care anything about that, you know. People are so busy for that time. So we are just about 20 students, 10, 15 to 20 students. We just go around and to make something but nobody, you know, asking to anything. So this is very much, you know, the situation of the place. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. We made a lot anyway, that time. 
this is another you know lodging at the uh, time in November in London. Uh, this uh, uh, group they just uh, uh, mobile and uh, the moving to other places to the other uh, to out of the cardboard box. At the night time they can stay there. So uh, it's quite hard to find out you know, sometimes. But uh, it was a really interesting place. They always find out to set up uh, to stay there. Go ahead. You can see the this you know real you know the cardboard boxes in the gallery. Go ahead. So they're just moving like this. It's night time. Go ahead. Uh, this is the future uh, of the image of the logic. Uh, this is just uh, nothing. Go ahead. That's all. Oh, I see. Uh, Okay, just just turn on the lights, please. Okay, just turn. It was too much like a running, running, running uh, slide, so we'll be a bit confused anyway. Especially for the this time of the lodging project to to the my past project. Oh, this is also the future. I gotta do something tomorrow. Okay, the thread is the tool. So the since uh, you know the construction work in like an apartment project or like a kind of like a favela site or a sidewalk or passage or you know it's many different type of the project I already done in in the time you know between I also do kind of like a field work style and then finally the recently I just make a kind of like a you know real lodging or living you know, them. This is very much similar to the architecture, you know, the skill or kind of like a, you know, method. But uh, I'm still, you know, not really uh, familiar about, uh, you know, architecture or, you know, kind of like language at all. I really enjoy the construct, you know. Uh, also, the, I really enjoy to, to work with, you know, many other people. Also the you know the temporality and the public space. You know. This is I think the you know all my method of my work. And then to the always quite reactional, you know, I always get the reaction and this, this reaction to come out from another action. You know. So it's kind of like a loading, you know, action to the reaction, to the action to the reaction. So it's like a continuing, it's like an endless, you know. So the the work is always, you know, uh, fix and then to the next one to continue. So this is uh, since I was done 20 years, but it seems like you know always one project is going on you know, since 20 years. So this is I always feeling like this. You know, it seems like endless. You know the work. So you know maybe even tomorrow I can do something also, the sort of like a lodging too. I didn't bring the lodging in Tokyo, you know, at the Haneda uh, photo because I didn't prepare in the moment. But uh, you can see the all the video at, at the container in the cabin, and uh, some photograph in, in the gallery also. Uh, maybe I can a little bit uh, talking about uh, the lodging project, but uh, perhaps uh, you know the, this time it's uh, very much you know the help room for this project together with uh, you know, a student, also the uh, Shin Egashira, he you know, work a lot together with me. It's kind of like a collaboration, you know. So this time of the project, it's more or less like a, I'm like a coordinator and the student can make you know, by themselves. And we just suggest something. Me and Shin was always you know, stay together and working together. So, and uh, yeah, I think the, you know, if you have some question, perhaps uh, me and the team will be uh, answer about this project. So, shall we start to the question time? <laughs> if, uh, not only for the lodging, maybe, you know, more or less like a general question, if you have it, I can answer to you.
media. I think the um, why I using always the uh, wood because it's quite uh, handy, also quite uh, international. You know, you can get everywhere. Also, the quite easy to participate. The people, even the you know, school student can hit. Also, the drug addicts can hit. Also, it's it's so simple. You know, the work. You know, everybody can do that. You know, so yeah, that's why I just always using. Uh, yeah, of course. You know, that depends on the the project. You know, situation maybe like a prefabricated material or scaffolding material. But always, like you know, I like very much the material who always looks like a temporary fixing, you know? not like a permanent, you know, like a brick or stone or you know, concrete, not like that. Always, you know, fixing by a screw, take it out of screw, you know, those kind of. You know, it's more or less like a Lego, you know, style. You know? time I am quite fascinating about uh, people's reaction you know how people to look at you know also the I didn't know so much about the public situation you know how so struggling you know about uh, other people you know so uh, it's my project is, it's always quite huge but uh, for me it's uh, you know always working together with somebody but uh, very much personal thing you know, I always decide by myself so, you know, always struggling, you know, my idea or some assistant idea, you know, always struggling. I'm not like, you know, uh, I don't want to make a dictator, you know, to do, you know, you know like, like a crystal, you know, he always do as much as strongly. I'm not, not, I'm, I'm not really like that, you know, I really enjoy to work with somebody, mean like a, I get more information, I get more, you know, you know work together, but somehow, you know, I have to be struggling, of course, my idea too, you know. But uh, this is kind of like a controlling for the public you know, situation. So I always interesting, I always uh, hectic, but always interesting too, you know, to work with somebody. Then and now it's uh, you know becoming more or less like you know uh, communication, also the you know kind of like a society, you know. This is more interesting to me instead of the visual, you know, uh, construction, you know, at all. You're, you're seeking to provoke uh, a reaction. Yeah, but uh, not straightforward. Because it's, uh, you know, when you make a straightforward, people just don't participate because it's so easy. So I just more or less like, you know, different direction or maybe more bit com complicated, you know. Catalyze. Yeah, yeah. So becoming more or less like, uh, you know, uh, uh, talking, discussion, or, you know, the beginning of time, uh, more or less like uh, artworks. But now it's uh, more kind of like a uh, structure, I made it. But this structure is sort of like an uh, object of the people to, to sit down or talking or you know, kind of like a table, you know. I always set up to the situation, to the people to meet and talking, you know. Those kind of like, uh, you know, the work I really interested in the moment. A little bit bright. <laughs> Is there any uh, other question? Um, you um, have mentioned uh, once or twice that there was no deliberate political intention in mm. your work. And for instance, in the project which you did in Houston, and that there was no political um, dimension in mm. the likeness, say, with the favelas. Mm. Um, had seen in South America. Um, nevertheless, I mean, I must say, I, for me, it is difficult not to see your work mm. in political terms, mm. I mean, partly because uh, your work is al always shown in context, 
Um, for instance, on the project in New York, you have shown with the background of Manhattan mm. behind, and the same in the project in Houston, and so on. And you have also um, referred to your work as a kind of guerrilla mm. um, activity. And as we know, I mean, guerrillas um, try to actually subvert the um, political regime or whatever it is in order mm. to change it and make it different. And um, when I look at your work, I must say I ask myself, well, what would the city be like mm. if it was entirely made um, in work mm. like, say, your work? and with perhaps a few buildings in masonry for the homeless. And I wonder whether the thought never occurs to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you see, the, uh, I'm, again, I'm not really like a, you know, the, uh, the propaganda you know, artist, you know. I don't want to make a kind of a big poster about, uh, you know, about the social you know, situation of the society. You have to be, help something, or like, you know, uh, the kind of like, you know, the, the political you know, message, you know. I I like you know more or less like uh, you know very small thing to happen such a huge you know urban you know the context you know, urban situation but uh, you know I don't want to check I, I was really fascinating about the first time I made uh, this kind of a field work in New York uh, nobody cared you know also there is it's so ordinary you know thing that time you know. now it's a little bit clean but. Uh, you know, it used to be there so much dirty and you know, everything. You know, the homeless people is everywhere in, in that say, East village time. So I think it's, uh, you know, I said by myself, you know, I really enjoy, you know, even nobody think about this shelter I made without any function. It's like, a, you know, the, lo you know, landscape. I put one, you know, some, you know, shelter or some point. But if the, if the you know the 90-90 percent uh, nobody interesting, nobody think about you know this is uh, nothing any you know uh, functional using, but only one percent. If the people can find out, oh, this is uh, somebody made it for other reason or somehow, this is becoming very interesting thing. You know. So it's less more like you know after Toronto project, I realized I don't need so many audience. You know, I don't need so many, you know, people who are interested about what to thinking about my work. I just need uh, only this one percent people who are very conscious about, you know, the work. Because you see the this uh, uh, the hospital, you know, the walkway, uh, when they built up, you know, people just using, you know, people just biking, bicycle or walking through, they don't know so much who made it. Of course we don't describe it, you know somewhere, you know this uh, bridge, this walkway made by the addicted people, not like that, you know. So people don't know anything, just people just walking. But if this one percent people, they can realize somehow, then I think this is really interesting. I hope this will be very interesting than anything like, uh, you know, obvious, you know, like a scandal, you know, the work at all. So this is, I, you know, the quality of the audience, you know, I really, want to you know, get this instead of the you know huge amount of the you know the the audience to, to come to my work you know so same as like a lodging you know we just of course we already around announcement now but uh, this is quite uh, anonymously you know to try it i think this is very important you know the thing also this is very much a uh, possibility to do in the public space without uh, permission. Is it okay? Just, uh, maybe, maybe different uh, <laughs> answer. Anybody else? Any other questions? Okay, well, I want to thank Tadashi and uh, Shin for all the great work. Let me just remind you again that the Porta Cabin will be open tomorrow, so uh, please uh, visit the students if you, uh, if you can. I'm sure they would appreciate it. Uh, let me just also remind you that uh, on Monday we have uh, Froyoto, so uh, please come back. And also uh, next Friday we have uh, Langlands and Bell, who happen to be here tonight as well. But, uh,
forward to seeing them next week. Thank you very much. Thank you.